G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Horizon Zero Dawn update video, and this one is on patch 1.30, which is available for download right now. So the big new features coming with patch 1.30 is the New Game Plus mode, as well as a new ultra hard difficulty, two new trophies, some bug fixes, and some new armor and weapons. So, the new game plus mode is unlocked by finishing the main quest. You'll notice when you boot the game up with the new patch installed, you'll actually see the blanked out option to start new game plus, but it will remain blanked out until you've finished the main quest. Once you've finished the main quest, you'll be given the option to copy over a loadout or a snapshot of the loadout that you use once you've finished the game. You also have the option of gathering as much items and uh, resources and stuff like that before you take that snapshot. So anytime in your post-game save, you can choose the option to copy across that loadout to your new game plus. So that loadout or that snapshot of that loadout will take note of all the armor, all the weapons, your resources, your skills, and your level, and it'll copy that across to that new game plus. So some of the advantages on playing New Game Plus, of course you'll keep all your levels once you go back into the New Game Plus, but then you'll also be able to collect ghost levels. So this works at every 100,000 experience, you'll get an extra ghost level, which won't really count towards anything, but I think at the moment it's just more bragging rights. Whether in the future, once the cap increases, the level cap increases, possibly we'll be able to spend those ghost level points. I'm really unsure at the moment, but at the moment it just seems like a little extra trophy or bragging rights that uh, you have those extra ghost levels. So a new addition to the new game plus also is the inclusion of adept weapons and adept armor. Now these are the same as the very rare variations of the armor and weapons in the game, but instead of having three slots or two slots for the armor, it'll have four slots for the weapon or four modification slots for the weapon and three modification slots for the armor. So that one extra modification slot can be a really big game changer and I think it'll help out quite a bit. The only thing is these armors and weapons can be very, very expensive to buy. So again, make sure in your snapshot of your loadout, you have a lot of caps or, um, metal shards and a lot of uh, resources to pay for these things. So another new addition added to the game is the addition of face paints and a color variation on Aloy's focus. So the way you unlock these is playing the new game plus mode and finishing it on hard, very hard or ultra hard. Each of them will have a separate reward for in the terms of face paint and color variation on the focus. But if you finish it on ultra hard the first time, you'll unlock all of these rewards. So speaking of the ultra hard mode, this is a new addition to the game and it is definitely ultra hard. The differences that I've noticed so far is that when you're fighting machines, they won't actually have a health bar. The cost of vendors items has also gone up a very large amount. This includes potions, resources, weapons, and armor. So again, make sure you're prepared before you come across into New Game Plus. These other changes may be anecdotal. I'm not sure if they're shared by everyone, but just in my experience, I feel like the monsters are aggroed a little bit easier or they become angered or spot you a a lot easier or you've got a wider range that you can anger the uh, machines in and also i could be wrong about this one maybe i'm just getting worse at the game but it seems like the arrows that you shoot once you loose an arrow it doesn't have as much curve or uh, aim assist as it does in a normal or easy mode. Normal or easy mode, I noticed quite a bit of curve in the arrows sometimes and would help me get headshots and uh, accurate shots. But I've noticed on ultra hard, it doesn't really have, it has very, very little arrow assist from what I can tell. Maybe like I said, I'm just getting worse, but I was missing a lot more shots on ultra hard. I'm not sure if this is uh, backed up by any proof, but um, if you guys uh, have any experiences with it, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your experiences. 
So the two new trophies added were, one is for finishing New Game Plus on any difficulty, and the other one is finishing the game on Ultra Hard difficulty. The really good news about these two trophies being added is that it won't actually take away from your Platinum. If you've got the Platinum, you'll retain that Platinum, but your percentage of trophies completed will actually be reduced somewhat. So apart from those new features, there has been some other bugs and fixes implemented, but the full list will be available in a link down below. So there you have it. That's pretty much all the new features in patch 1.30. Are you going to play it on New Game Plus? And are you going to be strong enough to tackle it on Ultra Hard? Let me know in the comment section below. So if you haven't played the game yet and you want to see what it's all about, I do have a full playthrough on the channel as well as various guides if you want to check those out too but I highly highly recommend this game and just looking at the post market or the post release support by Gorilla is just it makes the game even more valuable. So if you like this video please leave a thumbs up if you got any comments or suggestions then leave them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed already then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Boo.